Hello and welcome to a new video about my motor controller thing. I want to balance the ball. Yeah? So I realized, last time I realized, I need guide vanes. Look what I have, uh, what I have designed here. This is now my extension, yeah? which I will place up here. So, uh, well, how does it look inside? Let's get this away. Here you see, now I have added guide vanes. Why are those guide vanes necessary? You know, this, this rotor is spinning, is spinning in, in, in this direction. Huh? So it will accelerate the air in this direction. But not only in this direction, it will also spin the air. Huh? Because, you know, what, what, we, we've seen like the ball was dancing inside. Uh, we have seen this must be some sort of, of, of whirlwind. Let's call it whirlwind. Yeah? So we need to straighten this out. And if we have now a look inside what I have designed here, is that we take this, yeah? here are the guide winds. we take this and slowly break it down. I hope you can see this. Slowly break it down and then also narrow the, the thing so that we can have a little bit more velocity, uh, hopefully, and we can balance the ball. Uh, so that we straighten the fluid. These things are called guide vanes. You can find them in every, every uh, pump and so on. It's, it's always the same. Yeah? In a turbine, it would work the other way. The water would rush in here yeah? and we would then accelerate this in radial direction and use the turbine to break this. Uh, looking pretty much the same, yeah, but with different flow. And now we accelerate this in this direction. Yeah, and since we have now a spin, we will slow the spin down and lead the spin up here. And here I have, I have designed a nozzle. Uh, if we are looking from up, you can see the guide vein, how they are, how they are formed also. In, in German it's called uh, uh, latch over. Latch over. This is, this is the thing in German. It's always the same. In every, in every, in every, it's always the same in every, it's also in, in water flows, in pumps and so on. And also in, if you have a compressor, axial compressor and so on. Yeah. This is how this is working. If you have m more than one stage, you always have to put guide winds in between to get rid of this radial whirlwind. All right. This is actually a pretty nice thing. I will do a video where I explain this in more detail, I guess. Yeah. Some sometimes later, when we're talking about pumps and water turbines and so on, it's exactly the same issue there. Speaking of issues, speaking of issues, look at that. Look what I have also seen or encountered. Let's see, I've heard it before. Huh? Here you see this. Ooh, I touched. I touched. And actually, I expected this. I expected that I am going to touch here uh, because simply I was pretty, I was pretty surprised that this really fit that good. Yeah? Because uh, I would expect that with the sprinted parts and so on, these are not 100% exact. And um, so we need to adjust a little bit. Yeah? How do I adjust? This is what I actually wanted to show you. This is why I see what I have done here. Yeah? I placed a thin layer of something in between, exactly where where the marks are. Yeah? Exactly there. There's this thin layer, and this is also where a screw is. Yeah? This is also where a screw is. This is actually why I've I've use this as separate item, not printed the whole part together. Huh? 
use this as separate item and uh, use only three screws because with three screws you can always adjust. Yeah? With three screws you can adjust, it's no issue at all. And now we have here a little bit more room. Yeah? Why didn't it touch the first time? Yeah, this was also because I'm still not confident that we can we can achieve uh, the 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 ball to float on my airstream. Uh, still not confident. Uh, so I have readjusted this from 7.5 volt uh, to 9 volts. Uh, and as we know, DC motor more voltage, more speed, and this is of course also not balanced. Yeah, it's not exactly balanced because you know I spray painted it, and and so there are small inaccuracies. And the higher the speed, the more little unbalanced things will lead to wobbling. All right, and so we wobbled more uh, with higher speed. We wobbled more, and finally we touched. All right. Okay, so uh, actually. It made me realize two things. First, I need to level this. I have done this. Now it's working much better. This is good. Now it's working much better. And, you know, it was not a good feeling. I pressed it my at my handheld device, at my mobile phone. I touched it and said, okay, zero and so on. I wanted to break. This makes a lot of so noise so uh, of course I could have unplugged it yeah? but it would be nice to have some button to stop it stop yeah? stop stop all right this I will add yeah? I will add in my program to a, a stop button yeah? a stop I I tried the stop button yeah? by simply sending zero yeah? but it does not look good it's always checked and so on yeah? yes it's checked and uh, send zero ah it is working but it would be nice to have stopped it, then can already select the speed and then unstop it, start it, yeah, and it will speed up to the selected speed. This would actually be nice, right? And speed up to the selected speed. I would also then do it the following way. I don't want to jump to the speed. Yeah? I want to gently move to the speed with a ramp. These are two things I'm going to add next in the program. Uh, so a stop possibility, so that we have a stop signal from NQDT, and that we are not changing speeds with jumps, but with wraps. Those two things I'm going to add. You see, every issue is an opportunity uh, to be better. Good, actually. That's it for this video. I wanted to show you. This is already printing. Yeah? I'm printing it in a strange color. It will not really fit. But since I'm printing it in a strange color, I'm more confident that it will turn out working. Yeah? Because if I would print it in a nice color, it would for sure be wrong. Yeah? Because then I have to print it again. Now it's not that nice a color. Well, it's a nice color, but it does not really fit. And so it will be correct. Every trick. Every <laughs> trick. Okay, so long for this time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.